Hello, everybody. Um, here we are again, and the wind was awful, and the audio was bad. So I'm going to talk over what I was talking about here, because this is actually quite meaningful to me. Right now in the video, I'm very just blown away by how beautiful the clouds look. And it's really important, and I can't stress this enough, but it's really important for us to see beauty in everything we see. And a lot of you guys might be looking at this like image right now and going, how can you not see beauty? I mean, that dude's a knockout. <laughs> no, I, I mean like the, the scenery, guys. Like the clouds, the sky, the palm trees, the sand, you know, the beautiful people all over the place. It's hard to not see beauty in a place like this. But in a minute, we're going to see some like homeless dude like doing graffiti on the damn uh, side of a building. But anyway, we're going to be talking a lot about gratitude right now because if you are not like susceptible to being grateful for things, you have to actually like make an effort to be grateful for things in your life, especially in America. And I know it's awful to say it like that, but especially in America, we are accustomed to getting things our own way all the freaking time. And if it doesn't happen right when we want it, like the world is over and everyone's a piece of garbage. Um, so for those of us that have a hard time with being grateful and showing gratitude, what I want this video to be just a reminder of is to remember when you see anything, whether it's this beautiful beach or like someone taking a deuce on the sidewalk, try to see the beauty in what you're looking at. Even if it's something just disgusting or gross or completely mundane. Like, try to find... I'm not sitting here, like, trying to be like, find the silver lining in the cloud. I'm just saying, like, everything around us is living and breathing and moving and dying and living and everything all at once okay no matter if it's something great or something awful so just look at these things and try to find the thing in it that makes it worth something to get inspired by to create with if you look at the clouds in the sky there and they look like I don't know, like watercolors, you know, go get a paintbrush and paint something. Even if you're not good at it, it doesn't matter. Like none of us are good at anything. We just do stuff. If everyone was good at something like then everyone would like everyone's art, but that's not the case because art is subjective. So it doesn't matter what you do, just do something. You know what I'm saying? Now, one of the things that I'm going on about right now, besides how awesome that staircase and bridge is, is that I'm really trying to fall back in love with LA before I leave. I think it's very important for me to like remind myself of why I love LA. Like, look at that fucking sky, dude. That is unreal. And I know a lot of you who live in like big sky places, you're like, yeah, I see that every day. Yeah, I know. Do you know that you see that every day? Like, give yourself a reminder. Now, I'm trying to see LA the way I saw it. Um, every time I've moved back here. Because usually what happens, I live in LA for a little bit, I get burnt out, and I get really mad, and then I leave. 
and then I'm like fed up with it until I really miss it and then I come back. This time I don't want to leave angry. I want to leave on good terms. I want to like think of LA fondly. You know what I'm saying? And so I've been thinking about things that are great in LA. And honestly, like as I'm walking through here right now, I'm sitting here going, okay, so what, like, can I see what tourists see when they come here? Like, can I see why people would go, wow, this is amazing. We need to like spend our vacation here. And yeah, I totally can. Now, um, we're going to see what the dude was spray painting on that wall in a second here. I couldn't even read what it said. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, I have no idea what it was the red, like, I don't know what it said anyway, but it's like, I totally get the appeal. I really, really do. Um, besides it being beautiful at the beach, like one of the downsides is there's so much bacteria in the water right now from like Zuma all the way down to Mexico that you're not actually supposed to go in the water right now. So that sucks or else I would have been there five times this week. Um, but yeah, like that area was like Malibu that I just showed you there. But um, the weather in Southern California, especially at the beach, is unmatched. I don't think there is anywhere else in the world with weather this good. And going to Southeast Asia is going to be difficult for me because I'm not used to humidity. And that might be something that makes me like pack it up after a little bit. But um, it gets hot in Southern California, but again, it's a dry heat and it's not that bad. But like you usually don't have many cloudy days and you definitely don't have that many rainy days. When it does rain, it's like a disaster. But I mean, that's like what, like four days a year? Who cares? Um, the weather's perfect the rest of the year. You have like basically one and a half seasons. You have like warm summer, hot summer, and then a little bit of winter. You know, like when we get together for Christmas, it's in shorts and flip flops and we're outside barbecuing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's amazing. Not a lot of people can do that. Um, so, again, like, California, Southern California specifically, Southern California beaches specifically, is probably one of the most amazing places on the planet. With that said, that's why it's so freaking expensive. <laughs> so, it's like, there's give and take there. Okay. So, um, what I'm kind of just wanting from you guys is if there's anything that you are like over and you just like detest and you're just like, no, I can't do this anymore, blah, 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 blah. Try to find the thing that you love about it. Try to find the thing that drew you to it in the first place. And focus on that and create something because of that. Whether it is writing something, painting something, anything. Like, things touch us and inspire us to create things for other people to be touched by. That is what our job is. Our job is to touch people. <laughs> With our art, you dang pervs. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Like, <sighs> I don't want to get too much on a high horse more than I already am. But um, when you... I don't want to sound like a damn freaking yoga instructor. But when you focus on gratitude and you live your life with that being a focus every day. Like it's not gonna be easy every day, but once you do it enough times, it gets a lot easier. But when you start focusing on gratitude, everything 
looks a little brighter. Colors are a little more vivid. Life feels easier. It doesn't feel as rough. That's all I'm saying. And with that said, your art becomes more vibrant. All right? So um, hopefully you found this interesting. Um, if you like it or have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Uh, make sure to do all the things like, subscribe, comment, the whole deal. Um, I might be putting the next part of this long day that has been like over four videos long already um, on a different account. I'm not 100% on that yet. Jury's out. Um, but yeah, so um, let me know what your thoughts are on all this and let me know what you're working on. Like, use the comment section on this video to kind of like humble brag about like what you're doing and what you find beauty in and stuff like that, you know? I know it's kind of dorky and cliche, but just do it. Just shut up and do the freaking thing, guys. All right, so type hard, and I will talk to you all later.